Okay, welcome back, guys. Today we shall continue um, inserting the slab load on our model. Now, as you can see, this is the triangular slab panel, and it is a one-way slab. This is also a one-way slab, one-way slab, but this is the only two-way slab we have here. So we are going to insert the slab load differently to save time. Okay, so you come to your Start Pro, select beam cursor, select beam cursor, front view. Okay, I like this place. New view. Okay, so go to the top view. This is it. So all we are going to do is select some certain parameters to insert a slab lead. So if you double click this place, you see these parameters. I like this place, and also I like this place for your slab um, to get the nodes. So let's go to the dead load. For our dead load, we are going to use minus five kilonewton per meter square. So come to floor load. Sorry, floor load minus five kilonewton per meter square zero and nine. Then the minimum for that triangular load, the minimum distance is on x axis is minus 13. Sorry, this is nine. Then this is minus 13.658. Then the maximum. Sorry, the maximum is minus five, rather. Sorry, minus five. Minus 5.658 and the maximum is zero. So why on the Z range the minimum is minus 13, minus 13.658 and the maximum is minus eight. Minus eight. So it's a one-way distribution. So you click one way distribution to your add close. So when you see this, you can see it here. Let me go to the top and full view so you see. So this is it here distributing to this place and this place according to this this and this okay so let me go back to the top the next load again is i'm going to get for this other triangular load again so we add floor load now if you double click on this place you get the minimum x and z and you also get x and z so that will be your minimum and maximum so come here add new floor load this is also minus five minus five nine because this is the height then on the x-axis the maximum is eight sorry yes ma minimum is minus 13 sorry. minimum is eight and maximum is 13.658 and the z range minimum is minus 13 Point six five eight maximum is minus eight. Okay, so it's also a one way distribution. You add close, you can see these two also. So let me come to this triangle. Okay, so add so also floor load minus five nine. Then the X range is uh, 8 and maximum is 13.6658 okay on the z range we have uh, 0 and 5.658 okay add sorry it's going to be a one-way distribution so you can come here and change it to one-way distribution change close so you can see it let's go to the last triangle okay so you click add this triangle floor load okay minus five the minimum zero maximum nine okay so on the x range the minimum is minus five point six five eight and the maximum is zero on the z the minimum is zero and maximum is five point six five eight one with distribution okay yes add this so this is this also now let's go to this panel here so once you go to the panel there it wants to double click it to get the nodes there also and this is also a one with slab okay so click add so floor load the average of minus five minimum maximum nine then define the x range 
So your x range is 0 and 8, maximum is 8. On the z axis, minimum is minus 13.658, maximum is minus 8. It's also a one way distribution, so add close. So see, it's one way. Okay? This also, let's go to this one. So you add, add load, okay? Floor load minus 5, 0, 9. Then the maximum 0, 8. Z axis 0, 5.65. It's one with distribution. Add close. This is this one. So we add to the next two, okay? So you add, okay? So floor load minus five zero nine then minimum um, for the minimum in the x range we have it it a maximum we have thirteen point six five eight then on the z axis we have minus eight and we have zero so it's also a one way distribution but this time in one direction also the longer okay so the longer you add it close this is it okay so the next one you add floor load minus five so you have minus five then zero maximum in the y range is nine okay so is define x range now so x range what is the minimum the minimum in x range is 8 and the maximum is 13.65 13.658 okay for the z range 0 and minus 8 so minus 8 0 one with distribution add close okay. i'm sorry I'm coming let me guess this so minus five and minus eight and I also have zero zero. Okay. So I have um, minimum minus five also in the x direction minus like five and zero five point um, six five eight and the maximum is zero is change okay so this is it yeah. now i need to get the middle panel so for that my node coordinate is floor load minus five then minimum zero maximum nine okay so what is my exchange the minimum i have um, zero and i have zero here i have it and there i have minus it okay so it's a two-way slab you add close this is it okay, so we have this so you can see the full structure the way the distributed but for this video i'm not going to do the live loop because it's going to take time so what you do is you can just delete this live load okay yes then close it so you come to analysis Come to display full structure. This is it. Then you see a load, dead load one, and you see how it goes all through the floor. Okay, I'm saying it's highlighted with blue. Okay, so from there, analysis, define command, add, close, run analysis. Okay, save. So it takes a while for the analysis to run. Okay, so it's going. So while it's going, we can see our structure diagram, full structure, few plates. Okay, apply. Okay, so this is it. This is the mesh. And everything. Okay. Okay. Now the reason why this place is blue was because the direction we took it. That is why. So it's taking a while for our start model to run. Because of the mesh and the story. Okay. So this is 
structure. This is really highly helpful. Also, the mesh and the division. So, let me just stop the video from here and work. Okay, so thank you for watching today's video. Please make sure you subscribe. And if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. Thank you.